This is a thematic continuation of a previous post about Twitter bots. In this segment, I intend to show you how to quickly spin up a Twitter bot with the developer API. The process is fairly straightforward if you have any development experience. If not, don't worry, because this is a great way to dip a toe in and give it a try. This walkthrough is going to assume you already have Python available on your computer, because I don't want to overload this session. A bot script can be set up on any Twitter account, but for this tutorial, I've launched a brand new Twitter profile and will illustrate how to apply for a Twitter developer account as well. Trendy cliche will target popular phrases. Once you have a Twitter account selected, head to the Twitter developer URL, developer.twitter.com in your browser. The application process is fairly simple. Click into the Apply tab on the top right menu to begin. Making a bot is the first option under the Hobbyist column. Select it to enable the Next button on the bottom right. You will need to connect your account to a phone number that can receive a text message to confirm your account. There are a few sections that will require you to describe your intentions for the bot. Keep them clean and plain. Don't be cute or esoteric. The text areas have minimum character counts, and I've always attempted to keep my descriptions close to that. I have never had a developer account or a bot denied. Once you have completed the application, submit it and wait for an email that confirms your account has been approved. Approval typically occurs within 24 hours after submission. Head back to the developer site once you have received it to begin the next steps. Click into Create an app to begin the form. Again, keep your description short and to the point. No need to write an essay here. I usually titled my app functionally because you may want to use other functions or features of development in the future, and this will help to keep things clear. Once your bot has been created, you will need to generate a few API tokens. Click into the tab titled Keys and Tokens to generate the pair you'll need to input into your code. You will only be able to view this set of tokens one time, so be sure to copy and paste them to a notepad app or write them down. If you don't have them correctly documented, it will require regeneration, which isn't difficult, but can be an annoying snag in the process. In this example, I am using the iOS app Pythonista, which allows this bot to be activated on your phone. It costs $9.99 and is very convenient, but not required to build Twitter bots. Next comes the actual Python code to get your script triggering activity on the Twitter account via the API. This tutorial demonstrates how to activate a bot using the Twython Twitter package, but there are others that are available. You can do this on any machine that will run Python, such as a Raspberry Pi, which comes preloaded with it. Paste your keys and tokens into the respective places in the code for app key, app secret, OAuth token, and OAuth token secret. This is required to speak with the Twitter API. The section below that indicates this bot is looking for the phrase vibe check to retweet. It is set to search for and retweet five posts that include that exact phrase. If the script has successfully found a post, your log will say, Tweet Retweeted. If you have already retweeted a post, it will show a 403 error instead. After that, head to the account to see what posts were retweeted. This is a fun way to experiment with the Twitter API and also to discover accounts, media, and ideas on Twitter that you may not already be aware of presently. Of course, it has a high probability of engaging with themes you might not find interesting, so you may want to monitor what it's doing if you have a particular agenda. For some accounts, I continually tweak the script, and for others, I just hop into the account and disengage with the post. Hopefully, this walkthrough has helped you to get a bot launched and to consider how it can be used. There are many different ways to apply them, and your imagination is the limit. Look forward to seeing what you create. Thanks for watching.